Netflix The World's Toughest Prison presenter Rafael Ro knows all too well what it's like behind bars, having served 12 years for a murder he didn't commit. Rafael Ro, 55, was wrongly convicted in 1990 for the 1998 murder and aggravated robberies carried out by the M25-3. In the small hours of December 16, 1998, three masked men tied and beat up Peter Herbro and Alan Neely, who were at the time, having sex in a car in a field. Herbro died of a heart attack. Hours later, the group committed two more robberies and stabbed 40-year-old Timothy Napier. Three days later, Raphael was arrested and interrogated for three days. The victims claimed that two of the attackers were white and one was black. But all three arrested were black. In 1999, a review commission referred the crimes of the M25-3 back to the Court of Appeal and on July 17, 2000, Raphael and his co-defendants were acquitted and released. He still maintains his innocence to this day. Speaking to the Mirror about his experience, the BBC broadcaster said, it was a scarring experience. I've talked about it a million times, I can give you different phases to describe it. Deep down it leaves psychological and physical scars that will never leave you. It's what you do with those. Those years that I was in prison, I was bitter. I was angry, I was twisted. I was fighting against the prison regime because I would not conform. I was fighting against my wrongful conviction because the system got it wrong. I was fighting against the person that I was becoming the desensitized angry, young man growing into an older man, you know, when I was 20 years old, so that in itself built psychological scars. Fortunately, I was able to turn all those negatives into a positive become a journalist and use the skills that I acquired while I was in prison to do the stuff that I've done in my career as a journalist, whether it's undercover journalism, running around the world, using the skills of the gift of the gab or whatever, but knowing that space that when I'm going into an environment where I'm dealing with unscrupulous people, I've met them all in prison. He added, it gave me an insight into their behavior and their mentality. That's not to say I'm an expert but it's definitely an advantage over many people that would have gone and done that similar kind of job and been in very dangerous situations and not being as scared as somebody who might find themselves feeling scared as an undercover if they hadn't been pretty experienced. Series 7 of the hit Netflix show sees Raphael travel across the globe to countries including Finland, Bali, Czech Republic and the Solomon Islands, coming face to face with some of their biggest criminals. Reflecting on his interactions with prisoners who were banged up for notorious crimes, Raphael said, there's always a danger and always a threat when you come face to face with people that are in prison who have no hope. No aspirations, especially in countries where they value life differently from other cultures. That might mean that they have been desensitized by the experiences that they've grown into in a country where, you know, morals and values are very different, you know, food could mean more to them than the life of somebody so killing someone for food. What I tried to get people to understand is, you know, they need to put things into perspective. I'm not saying that there is any excuse for horrendous crimes such as murder, but you've got to put the context of that murder into place. The broadcaster explained that when visiting countries such as South America where a murder takes place every minute, he tries to understand the prisoner and the reasoning behind their crimes, which can make him appear to be less of a threat than they initially imagined. Sometimes in meeting guys who have never been asked what drove their criminality, what drove them to commit the rape that they commit, he added.
But while many would choose not to interview prisoners who have been convicted of the most horrific rape and murders, Raphael believes his bravery comes from personal experience. He explained, it all stems from my own personal experience of being wrongfully imprisoned here in the United Kingdom for 12 years and coming across and spending time in the space of men who have done horrible things. And to discover the real nature of those individuals, the people who have deemed monsters, and murderers and to find out who they really are. I did in real life as I was myself deemed a monster and a murderer but I wasn't a monster or a murderer. I know that you cannot judge somebody based on the crime that they've committed. Discussing racism within the UK police and the rise of black people being targeted by law enforcement, Raphael said it was another level. That's racism, cobbled with injustice, cobbled with persecution. There are different layers and different levels. Inside the world's toughest prisons, is available to watch on Netflix. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. i